Okay, what happens when you go to play a song and you get the dreaded could not find the song problem? Well, you do not generally want to click the find button and just find that one song because it could be indicative that a whole lot of songs are missing. So what you want to do is fix it at the root uh, level and not at just this particular song. That way you might end up fixing lots of missing songs. So hit the cancel button. And what you want to do is discover where KGEMS thinks the file is. Um, so what you do is you right click on the sort column headers and you want to try to find where the file is. So there's a bunch of them here. First try audio in case it's unzipped and if that field is blank just hide that again and go back and find the zip file. File zip. And you can see the path where KGEMS thinks the file is. So let's stretch this out so you can see it. And then what you want to do is go into the Finder or Explorer and trace through that path to try to locate this file. So let's see, it's in Users Dave C, which is in my root hard drive. It's in my home folder under, under Dave C, under Music, under KJams, uh, then under Tilde Test Libs. Let's see, did I get to the right spot here? Got to make this wider. Under KGEMS, oh, I'm already under test libs. And uh, then under KGEMS music, KGEMS, KGEMS music, and then under Aerosmith, and then under MM something something, and then under MM uh, Aerosmith.zip. So it looks like I found the file, but I've also found the difference between where KGEMS thinks it is and where it actually is. Notice that this folder has the word copy after it with a space, but where KGEMS thinks it is, there's no word copy there. So if I just, I can fix this simply by just removing the word copy and the space, so there's no space there too, and then when I go to play the song, KGEMS can play it. <laughs>